In the tea industry, tea leaf grading is the process of evaluating products based on the quality and condition of the tea leaves themselves. The highest grades are referred to as orange pico and the lowest as fannings or dust. Pico tea grades are classified into various qualities, each determined by how many of the adjacent young leaves two, one, or none were picked along with the leaf buds. Top quality pico grades consist of only the leaf buds, which are picked using the balls of the fingertips. Fingernails and mechanical tools are not used to avoid bruising. When crushed to make bag teas, the tea is referred to as broken, as in broken orange pico, bop. These lower grades include fannings and dust, which are tiny remnants created in the sorting and crushing processes. Orange pico is referred to as op. The grading scheme also contains categories higher than op, which are determined primarily by leaf wholeness and size. Broken, fannings and dust orthodox teas have slightly different grades. CTC teas, which consist of leaves mechanically rendered to uniform fannings, have yet another grading system. General classifications <inaudible> Orange pico Orange pico, also spelled peco, or op is a term used in the Western tea trade to describe a particular genre of black teas Orange pico grading. Despite a purported Chinese origin, these grading terms are typically used for teas from Sri Lanka, India and countries other than China, they are not generally known within Chinese-speaking countries. The grading system is based upon the size of processed and dried black tea leaves. The tea industry uses the term orange pico to describe a basic, medium-grade black tea consisting of many whole tea leaves of a specific size, however, it is popular in some regions such as North America to use the term as a description of any generic black tea, though it is often described to the consumer as a specific variety of black tea. Within this system, the teas that receive the highest grades are obtained from new flushes pickings. This includes the terminal leaf bud along with a few of the youngest leaves. Grading is based on the size of the individual leaves and flushes, which is determined by their ability to fall through the screens of special meshes ranging from 8 to 30 mesh. This also determines the wholeness or level of breakage of each leaf, which is also part of the grading system. Although these are not the only factors used to determine quality, the size and wholeness of the leaves will have the greatest influence on the taste, clarity, and brewing time of the tea. When used outside the context of black tea grading, the term pico, or occasionally orange pico, describes the unopened terminal leaf bud tips in tea flushes. As such, the phrases a bud and a leaf, or a bud and two leaves, are used to describe the leafiness. Of a flush, they are also used interchangeably with pico and a leaf or pico and two leaves. Etymology <inaudible> 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 origin of the word pico is uncertain. One explanation is that it is derived from the transliterated mispronunciation of the Amoy dialect word for a Chinese tea known as white down, hair. Bai hao pei, h o g, pei, h ho. This is how pico is listed by Rev. Robert Morrison in his Chinese Dictionary as one of the seven sorts of black tea, commonly known by Europeans. This refers to the down like white hairs on the leaf and also to the youngest leaf buds. Another hypothesis is that the term derives from the Chinese baihua, white flower. Chinese, bai hua pinyin, bai hua, pei, h o g, pei, h ho, and refers to the bud content of pico tea. Sir Thomas Lipton, the 19th century British tea magnate, is widely credited with popularizing, if not inventing, the term orange pico, which seems to have no Chinese precedent for Western markets. The orange in orange pico is sometimes mistaken to mean the tea has been flavored with orange, orange oils, or is otherwise associated with oranges. However, the word orange is unrelated to the tea's flavor. There are two explanations for its meaning, though neither is definitive. 
The Dutch House of Orange Nassau, now the royal family, was already the most respected aristocratic family in the days of the Dutch Republic, and came to control the de facto head of state position of Holland and Zeeland. The Dutch East India Company played a central role in bringing tea to Europe and may have marketed the tea as orange to suggest association with the House of Orange. Color, the copper color of a high quality, oxidized leaf before drying, or the final bright orange color of the dried picos in the finished tea may be related to the name. These usually consist of one leaf bud and two leaves covered in fine, downy hair. The orange color appears when the tea is fully oxidized. Topic. Fannings Fannings are small pieces of tea that are left over after higher grades of teas are gathered to be sold. Traditionally these were treated as the rejects of the manufacturing process in making high-quality leaf tea like the orange pico. Fannings with extremely small particles are sometimes called dusts. Fannings and dusts are considered the lowest grades of tea, separated from broken leaf teas which have larger pieces of the leaves. However, the fannings of expensive teas can still be more expensive and more flavorful than whole leaves of cheaper teas. This traditionally low-quality tea has, however, experienced a huge demand in the developing world in the last century as the practice of tea drinking became popular. Tea stalls in India and the South Asian subcontinent and Africa prefer dust tea because it is cheap and also produces a very strong brew, consequently, more cups are obtained per measure of tea dust. Because of the small size of the particles, a tea infuser is typically used to brew fannings. Fannings are also typically used in most tea bags, although some companies sell tea bags containing whole leaf tea. Some exporters focus primarily on broken leaf teas, fannings, and dusts. Topic: <laughs> Grades. Chapi contains many leaves of various sizes. Fannings are small particles of tea leaves used almost exclusively in tea bags. Flowery consists of large leaves, typically plucked in the second or third flush with an abundance of tips. Golden flowery includes very young tips or buds usually golden in color that were picked early in the season. Tippy includes an abundance of tips. Topic. Whole leaf grades. Topic. Broken leaf grades Topic. Fannings grades Topic. Dust grades Topic. Other terms Musk, muscatel CL, clonal CH, china varietal Ku, queen jot FBOPFX SPL Finest broken orange pico flowery extra special FP, flowery pico PS, pico sushong S, sushong BOF, broken orange fannings BPF, broken pico fannings Road, Pico Dust, Red Dust FD, Fine Dust GD, Golden Dust SRD, Super Red Dust SFD, Super Fine Dust BMF, Broken Mixed Fannings Topic. See also Food Grading ISO 3103, a standardized method of tea brewing used to compare tea leaf flavor and aroma characteristics. Maofeng, an equivalent tea term in China. Tea blending and additives. <laughs> Notes <laughs>